Karzi here. In this question 10, we're looking at a triangle PQR and we're told the components of various journeys around this triangle. So for instance, travelling from P to R in this triangle, we've travelled 6 to the right, 4 down, parallel to the x and y axis. So that's the journey from P to R, components 6, negative 4. Also, journey up from R to Q, components are negative 1, 8. 1 to the left, parallel to the x axis, and 8 up, parallel to the y axis. So that's the components journey R to Q. And we're asked to find the journey from P to Q. What are the components of travelling from P to Q. So we must, instead of travelling straight from P to Q, involve these two uh, journeys that we know the components of. So not the direct route, let's go the scenic route via R. So travelling from P to Q will be the same as travelling from P to R, followed by travelling from R to Q. So we do know what we've done in travelling from P to R, 6 to the right, 4 down. And we know what we've done in travelling from R to Q, 1 to the left, 8 up. That's the X and Y components. So combining these, 6 to the right, 1 to the left, that would just be 5 to the right. 6 plus negative 1 is 5. The X components added give 5. And then 4 down and 8 up will just be 4 up. The y components added give us 4. So there's the components of the journey from P to Q. PQ has been expressed in component form. So now let's have a look at part B. We're told M is the midpoint of PR. So PM is the same length as MR. M is the midpoint of PR. And we're asked to express the journey from M to Q. It's that journey in component form. So just as we did before, we'll attempt to go a scenic route instead of going the direct route from M to Q. And we have a choice here. We can either go via P or via R. So let's try going via P. So we travel from M to P, followed by from P to Q. Now what on earth do we know about travelling from M to P? Well we know first of all that it's half the journey from R to P. So it's half the journey from R to P. And we do know something about the journey from R to P because we've worked out or we were given the fact that if we travel from P to R we've travelled 6 to the right, 4 down. We've known the components of PR. So travelling from P, M to P, ouch, we've hit the arrow so we know that we're going the opposite direction. We have to do the negative of 6 to the right four down. That would be six to the left, four up the opposite. If we're against the arrow, then we must do the negative of what is there. So travelling from R to P, instead of six to the right, four down, it's six to the left, four up. It's negative six, four. So these are the components of travelling from R to P, and we're doing half of that journey to get from M to P. Followed by the journey from P to Q, well, that's what we found in the first part of this question. We found it was five along to the right and four up. Components were five, four. So half of the negative six, four journey is negative three, two. That is followed by a journey of five, four. So adding the x components, negative 3 plus 5 will give us 2. And 2 plus 4 for the y components will give us 6. So there's mq expressed in component form. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and hope you enjoyed the video.